Today, you guys are going to meet a very intricate friend of mine. Uh, I was going to refer to him as a Yankee because he lives up north. He said, please don't. I said, okay, then I'll refer to you as a city slicker. He said, please don't. I said, well, what do you want me to refer you as? And he said, please refer to me just as Dave. All right, guys, it's time for you to meet just Dave. He's not a city slicker. He's not a Yankee. He is a Civil War nut. And today... He's going to earn a little bit of manhood as well as a redneck manufacturing t-shirt. Right, Dave? All right, Dave. So right. you did mention the fact that you were going to bring steel-toed shoes. Did you bring steel-toed shoes, Dave? Well, I did. I, I went, ran off without them anyway. So we'll just, these will suffice for now. Well, not, not here in the redneck workshop because this is standard equipment. This is safety second equipment. Okay. All right. All right. So... You are going to be official, right? You, you want to be official? Sure. All yeah. right. Put those on. <laughs> ah. And put those on, Dave. Okay. You see how they're dirty already? Because I don't want you to get your sneakers dirty, so go ahead. That's these that's how old, we suit up for safety. These are old sneakers. It doesn't yeah. matter. No, the, you're going to suit up for safety because the sparks feel better when they hit raw sock. All right, Dave. So the first thing in any project is we need blueprints, right? Okay. Exactly. You know what a blueprint is? Yeah. Okay. So in our case, that's something that's hung up in the window. Oh, it's the bugs. Oh. You see the bugs there? That's, that's what that is. That's not part of our blueprint. Okay. All right. So in today's episode, Dave is going to complete a simple task. We're going to go outside, and he's going to pick up some rebar. You know what rebar is, Dave? Mm -hmm. What's behind it? Okay. Do you know what it yeah. is, though? Just a steel bar. Good job. Okay. We're going to yeah, cut that six inches by six inches by six inches by six inches. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cut another four of them six inches by six inches by six inches. And then we're going to cut another four of them six inches by six inches by six inches. So it's going to have six sides, and all six sides are going to be the same length. And how long are they going to be? Oh, they're going to be six inches? Good job, Dave. You're paying attention. Right. That's what I like to see. So here is your blueprint. Now let's right. go build it. Okay. Let's go. Think you can do it? Sure. All right. With your help. Okay. We can do it. All right. All right, Dave. Every redneck has to have a pile of steel somewhere in their yard that they can utilize okay. for projects, okay? All right. And as you can see, here is my scrap pile, and it has been downsized. So let's see. We need how many pieces do we need? Six inches. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces, six inches long. How many feet is that? I'm sorry? I wasn't paying attention. Feet? Well, you got to pay attention, Dave. That's the first part of all the projects here. Okay. So we set up a little bench here so Dave doesn't have to bend over to make his measurements. Dave, do you know what this is? Of course. What is that, utility Dave? Utility cord. A utility cord? And why do we need a utility cord, Dave? For this application here, it is uh, because of the voltage, high voltage. High voltage. Yes. We're dealing with high voltage here. <laughs> no, actually, Dave, it's because this damn cord don't reach that outlet over there without stretching it too far and getting you into a bind when you pull so that thing down. So cord. there you go. All it's right. not a utility cord. We don't have any telephone poles outside the house here. Let's give it a test run. Keep your fingers and hands and arms and legs away from this device right here because it will spin at a high RPM because we do have high voltage. Right, Dave? Mm -hmm. That's what you told me. All right, so go ahead. Pull that red trigger and let's see. Grab it like a pistol. You ever you ever shot a pistol? Now, don't push I it have. down. You don't have Years anything to go. cut yet. Just pull the trigger. I'm just giving you a <laughs> Holy shit, Dave. Are you all right? I'm good. It didn't hurt you. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab that rebar. We're going to set it up here on the workbench, and you are going to mark it in six-inch increments. Let me go get you a red china marker. All right, Dave, there's your red china marker. Now, to measure six inches, what else are you going to need, Dave? I'm going to need some measuring tape. All right, well, we got that for you. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, so now let me come around here just so we get all this on camera so it's documented for your redneck manufacturing T-shirt.
ready to start welding? We're ready. Have you ever welded? Never. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, you, you don't have to apologize. This is what it's about. Teaching a city slicker how to weld. All right, here you go. Got to you got to hold that trigger. There you go. I can't see. Do you have your eyes open? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Dave. That's true. It is okay. All right. Thank you. Are you ready? I'm explaining that. Okay. You got your shield down. Get your wire in position. Okay. Okay. And whenever you're ready, pull the trigger. There you go. There you go. All right, move it away from the clamp a little bit, Dave. I think. Hold on. Don't don't. That uh, is that is officially welded, Dave. Watch this. Here, we'll shut this off. I can't believe I did it. Watch this. That is officially welded. Uh, do any more? Well, we do. Yeah. yeah, you don't want it to fall out. <laughs> there goes my helmet. Yeah. Don't worry, Dave. It's only a two hundred eighty-nine dollar helmet. That's all right. That's why I just tear my gun. <laughs> well, what else did you bust out? <laughs> it should break everything. God right. sake almighty. <laughs> All right. You want to learn how to sandblast? Sure, why not? Because I have one heck of a nice sandblaster. Today we made a uh, redneck rebar metaller and we learned how to uh, grind, weld, and cut. And here it is, a perfect cube on a base. And we painted it. All right. And then we uh, did some woodwork as well. Um, we did, uh, we learned how to build a house for the next style as well. So there it is, there's the frame of it. And um, cut the wood, make the studs, and uh, we're good to go so far. Well, we're all done here, and I uh, like to thank uh, the School of Redneck Manufacturing for uh, learning some skills here in wood art and metal art. And um, we're we're done here for the day. All right, and he is now an official redneck manufacturer, complete with a shirt. Right, we earned our t-shirt, our official t-shirt. All right, thank you.